we are rolling with the Bills at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Of course, the Bills coming off of a Monday night football loss, one and four or one of four in the red zone against the Patriots. The Bucs are a three and a half point favorite at home, total of 52 and a half here. And this is a monster game, brother. This is a monster game. I, the Bills, obviously, record is not as good as they would hope that it is or hope that it would be. But overall, the Bills' total DVOA is number three in the National Football League, and the Bucks are number one. These are two elite football teams. One just doesn't have the record that, that they hoped. Buffalo's offense is number 14 in efficiency. Their defense is number one, though. Well, on the other side, Tampa Bay's offense is number one in efficiency, and their defense is number eight. I, I tend to believe that that the Bills are going to find a way to keep this thing close. I, I'm going to take this hook here. I'm going to ride with the Bills plus three and a half because I think that these teams are pretty equal. And, and if you're giving me more than a field goal, I will certainly take that in the spot. Yeah, I need to know if the Bills are going to be able to win a shootout. I think they can. I think they can, but I think they're going to have to. I mean, if you get to a point where Josh Allen is just flinging the ball, I mean, yeah, they'll. He, Stephon Diggs will certainly appreciate that. Well, it's not about will he appreciate it. It's, it's can they do anything? I don't know. I, I guess they can because the secondary of the uh, uh, Bucks isn't isn't so special. So you know. Yeah, that was that was my whole thought process behind that. Was you know, I, Bucks secondary like they they can give up some big plays. No, they hadn't done a ton of them lately, but they they hadn't exactly played a murderer's row. So I, yeah, I was gonna say they haven't played anybody with the skill of Diggs and uh, and Allen, yeah, uh, and Beasley in and, and that bunch. So yeah, yeah so, um, no, I'm with you. I think that's the right play. I think that's the right play. All right, so you gonna ride it plus three and a half? Yeah. All right. Yep. Let's let's do this thing. Now, I mean, obviously, it wouldn't shock me if the Bucks come out and just destroy these guys. <laughs> maybe maybe the Patriots destroying took a little bit them. Of yeah, destroying them it would shock me. But That's, beating them, that wouldn't shock me. And covering, you know, three and a half wouldn't shock me. If they beat them by, you know, 14, that would shock me. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe. And we'll see you soon.